traction. We need an investment from the sharks because we simply don't have enough money to make the amount of boards we need to meet the demand. We would like to expand ham boards into the rest of America so that everyone can enjoy surfing even if it's on land. I'm Pete Hamborg from Hamboards. I'm the founder. This is Donnie, he's my cousin. Hi. This is Gus, he's my oldest son. How's it going? We're asking for $100,000 for 15% of our company. When skateboarding was first invented, the idea was to get a piece of wood to feel like surfing when you rode it. It's been the unattainable holy grail of skateboard design. Somebody has finally done it, and it was us. Let me tell you how we did it. A few years back, I had five little grommets running around the house, and I wanted to teach them how to surf. One of the things I wanted to add to the process of teaching them how to surf was to make a really large skateboard. What I ended up making was something that really didn't work that well. Thank God, one night, one of my little brothers left the giant skateboard out in the driveway, and my mom backed over it in the family wagon. When we jumped on it, we actually realized, hey, this thing feels like surfing for the first time. And what she had done when she backed over it was she had modified the trucks so that it turned better. My dad figured out a way to replicate that, and we started making boards for ourselves and riding them all over Huntington Beach. People were freaking out. People wanted to buy them. And so the next thing you knew, we had a little business in our garage making these giant skateboards. But I didn't really know the business dynamics. You know, because Gus and his brothers, they're all lifeguards. I'm a fireman. So we were kind of hitting some rough waters. So we shook the family tree and Donnie fell out and he hit the ground right. <laughs> These guys are terrific at product and promotions. But the first time I had a real business meeting, we went through the cost of goods sold spreadsheet. And about an hour in, these guys needed a yoga break and a 20 minute nap. So fast forward to today. You know, I'm the company hard ass and the bills get paid. We're hitting our monthly objectives like a small business team should. And the thing is growing out from under us. What's your business background, Doug? I have a business background from working at DuPont for 10 years. And then I've been an entrepreneur for about 10 years. I built a sporting goods business. I invented a technology that made inflated sports balls stay inflated for an awful long time. It was called Never Flat. Oh, those are the Spalding balls? That's that, right. Yeah, yeah, the, the, That's back, right. yeah, the yeah. NBA used. Yeah. Very clever. Okay. okay, so you've got some background in this. Yeah. You know what you're doing. So who wants to jump on these things and try them out? I want to try it out. <laughs> Come on, you got to Greg, we got to get you a All helmet. Right. Can I try one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got for plenty. sure. All right. I have a really, really big head. So the bigger ones are easier to use because of the... They're yeah. a little more stable. What you want to do, you want to be in the front half of the board when you're trying yeah. it for the first time. Up by, up and don't be afraid to get yourself some speed. Yeah. You're going to yeah, be yeah. fine. That's it. That's it. Oh, that is so cool. Woo! <laughs> there it is. There you go. There you go. Wow. Tell us about the company. What are the sales? How long have you been doing it? Well, uh, so for the last 12 months, our sales are 225. For this calendar year, our plan is to hit 350. Don, you've been in the sports business. These sales are anemic. A quarter of a million dollars is peanuts. Right. And if this is going to take off, it's got to get into the millions. How do you get to 10 million in this business? So we just brought on our first two reps a month and a half ago. So we're looking at getting into the surf, skate, action sports doors. Have you made this proprietary? We have an intellectual property portfolio comprising design patents yeah. on all the models. Trademarks. Based on the modification of the wheel set. But we don't have a utility patent on that modification, no. So do other people then make a surfboard with wheels? You can find a product that looks like that. In fact, we had somebody that bought one from somebody else, and they called us up wanting to return it to us because it didn't ride like a handboard is supposed to ride. Pete, tell us what do people buy? Which size is the best seller? This is our, this is our most popular board right here. 
It's uh, called the Bamboo Classic. So it's made out of solid bamboo. Uh, it retails for five ninety five. And then our next most popular. Wait, well, is how much does it, how start much there? To make that? How much does it cost to make it? One third of that. So two hundred dollars, roughly speaking. Okay. And where where do you make them? Everything is assembled and built in Huntington Beach. Okay. I think very cool product. Love family businesses, but it seems to me more of a niche product, maybe more coastal than Heartland. I think I can get you excited for a bigger market if I can walk back here and pull something else out of here. Okay. Sure. There's more. There's more. Wait. So, handboard plus land paddle equals freedom. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So. so. Ah, oh, wow. Cool. cool. And that is how you 